Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 3 of my Dagnum and Ribbridge career mode. In this episode, we will be starting off with a game against Wimbledon, our first game of the season. It is in the league, and we get off to a good start. Josh got able to hit the shot early on his weak foot, which apparently in the last video, in the last game was his strong foot. I don't know what happened there, but it was a good effort anyway. And he gets a header there, just unlucky to play it over. And then Wimbledon come up, Moore coming through, just easily walking through to the fence, gets it over to Midson who hits the shot, it comes off the post and Femi gets it out for a throw. That was half time score and you can see how eager I was to get back into the match because I just completely skipped it. Out by accident, Reese Murphy coming in there and low and just about missing, just putting it wide off the post, you can see how close it was here. Oh, so close. Must have been a matter of centimetres, to be honest. Midson coming through, though. He gets a good touch. Lewington staying strong, keeping a good position, and gets it away. Now you can see us making a couple of changes. Waddle and Saunders coming on. But nothing happened after that, and it did end nil-nil. One point from our first game, which isn't too bad, you know. It's pretty good. And now you can see Josh Southway, it's been accepted, and he's another player coming in. A youngster, he's uh, showing, he's going to be, he's going to have good potential, I believe. Now you see Evan McMillan, the other Irish player we decide to try and get at the end of his contract, sending off £750. And we have a game in a J Paint Trophy, not a J Paint Trophy, Capital One Cup, sorry against League One side Peterborough and now this will be a good game to show how good we can play we decided to take the uh, the uh, we decided to take the corner short Louis, uh, Howe puts it in and Scott nods it in for the goal you see that was a really good header Luke Howe putting a cross in here and Scott loses his marker and a lovely header in at the near post to make it 1-0. And I like that animation where the cup actually comes across the screen. It's really nice. I really like it instead of that purple icon that it was last year. Luke Howe putting the ball over to Elito. First time cross and Waddle's head up. was an easy save for the keeper. Bingham takes a, cro takes a cross in and Scott jumps above his marker and puts in his second goal of the game his second header of the game his second goal of the season a good header from Scott and it was really good how he got the power from his legs to jump that high and get the header in Bingham loses out though to McCann and they put the ball over the top towards Keynes and Lewington able to make the save almost a known goal from Canavan but Hoyt can get it away and now Luke Howe getting away from his man makes another lovely challenge there comes forward slipping it through for Josh Scott he gets it over to Elito Elito he had a lot of time but he decided to wait and he, the shot wasn't good enough from afar and he wouldn't have been able to get up because he took too long to get the ball under control Elito putting it in there but it gets cleared out by Zakuani Bingham nods it back in Howe getting it in towards Leo it looked like Hamble to me it was handballed, the ref's given it as well. And we've got a penalty. Little with the handball. And who's going to step up? None other than Josh Scott. Looking to get his hat trick. And he does a nice penalty. Low. Not a lot of power, but it sends the keeper the other way. And that was 3 0. Good work from Josh Scott. He's got a hat trick. And 3 0 at half time, it was Scott with all three of them. McCann gets the ball in for Peterborough. They're looking to get away back into this game. The cross comes in. The header from Barnett by straight at Lewington. And he stays strong to make the save. Good save from Lewington. Zakwani wins it. But Waddle makes the tackle. And now straight from their chance, we have a chance. Brian Waddle coming forward. Looking to get that cross back in towards a go-go. Keeper's able to tip it over the crossbar. And that all came from... A chance from them the long ball up route one football the corner in from Alito it's cleared out Bingham picks it up though he decides here on his weak foot may I say hits the post from about 35 yards out Abu Agogo slips it out Gavin Hoyt he's looking to get a shot but he leant back and it was always rising 
We make two subs, Elliot Lee coming on for his competitive debut and Shields coming on for his first game of the season. Agogo hits it out for Scott. Scott is able to drive it and force keeper into the save. 90th minute, they're looking for a consolation goal. Canavan is blocked by Hoyt. It's still not gone, but eventually he went behind the goal. And you can see Lewington celebrating there because we did get a 3-0 win against higher opposition. The team that knocked us down when we was in League One. And a good way to take revenge. You can see Evan McMillan, the centre-back, has accepted that offer to come back to come and join us next season. Hopefully we'll be in League One and he'll be able to add depth into our squad. We decide to accept it, of course, and that looks like it'll be our last piece of business in this transfer window. Jake, but maybe not, because Jake Reed, only worth 80 grand. Barry have put in an offer for 140, and straight away I accept that. He's not looking to be a part of my plans, but maybe he'll be a part of Barry's, and he's given us some money to possibly make another signing, or maybe another loan signing. And now we're heading down to Fratton Park, the team that was in the Premier League not too long ago. Bingham asked if he could play, and I said, yes, I'll let him play. You know, he played well against Peterborough. And look, straight away, he's showing why he got into the team. 37th minute, I know, a long time to get the first chance, and Scott just putting it over the crossbar there. Unlucky, look. Oh, you can't quite see because the player was in the way, but it did just go over the crossbar. You can see much better one from there. And that was half-time. Only one chance between us two. We had a solid defence. Half-time, we decided to bring Bingham off and put on Shields, who he plays a lovely ball over for Rhys Murphy, and Rhys Murphy will be able to get there. He tries to get the cross in. It takes a deflection off and Gallup and almost goes in. And that was it, there was only two chances really in that game and it did end nil-nil. But I can't say that's a bad result. Away to Fratton Park, away to Portsmouth. And look here, we decide to go in for Adnan Yanazai. Yes, the Man United youngster, the man who is getting all the headlines. We send our scout over to see how he's doing, you know, trying get some feedback from him and straight away from the kickoff Elito picks up the ball and he is going to attack down that wing he wins a free kick and first challenge and the ref's given the first card you can see the yellow card has been given to Cameron but good work from Elito showing strength and winning the free kick he decides he will go in to take that corner that free kick sorry swinging it in it's towards Scott though, he heads it down for Wilkinson, oh he's hit it off the post. So unlucky from Luke Wilkinson, look here, lovely effort from a centre back may I add, unlucky from Luke Wilkinson. Obafemi, he's making his first game, he comes through, he's looking to get that cross, he does put the cross in towards Waddle, it's gone out from Cruz, how able to knock it down for a go-go but a poor effort, he's snatched at the opportunity and unlucky. Benyon on the attack for Torquay, but the ref's given a free kick, a go-go making a free kick, I didn't think it was a free kick to be honest, but that's what's been given, they lay it off from Benyon towards Harding, the man who won the free kick, and it's gone in, it's just bobbled through, Lewington got down low, and that's pretty poor goalkeeping may I say. It's not the best of goalkeeping we've seen from Lewington, he's made a lot of great saves, but that was poor. Uh, I've got to hand it to him, a nice piece of, a nice set piece for Torquay, you know, they must have worked hard on that from the training ground, but straight away Murphy, he's not having any of it, he is looking for that equaliser, Waddle's breaking into the box, Murphy putting it in, Waddle comes diving in and he just pokes it past Poke for the equaliser, straight away off, off kickoff from their goal, we get our goal, Cruz looking up, He's got man in support in Thompson, Lewington. That's much better goalkeeping. And Obafemi's able to get cleared right before half time. How? Getting it through for Waddle. Waddle looking to get that cross in. He gets it towards Alito. And it's 2 1. Straight before half time. Medi Alito, if you saw there, he just dove straight through. 
uh, the players warming up. I mean, you can rewind if you want to see it. He just dove straight through his legs for 2-1, and that was half-time score. 2-1. Good, good half to be honest. Josh Southway you can see coming on for his debut, and again nothing happened after making the subs. That's not the first time that's happened in this career mode. But we decide to go in for a loan offer for Adnan Yanazai. He's worth three grand. We decide to get him in for full season. We just about have enough, and we send that off. And here, you have to wait until next episode episode to see if we get him. After that in three games, we are left in 10th with one win and two draws. A good, only conceded one goal, a good start to the season. We also progressed through the cup and I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I'll see you for episode four.